the traditional way of learning to read sheet music does not set you up to get fluent at reading and playing at the same time. But thankfully, there's another way to learn this, and I'm going to explain it to you in just a moment. I didn't find it easy to learn to read sheet music. It was frustrating, and honestly, it was something I was embarrassed about. I was taught to identify notes with mnemonics like, every good boy deserves fruit. You might have heard it as, every good boy deserves fudge, but I guess here in South Africa, it's a healthier version. <laughs> I would struggle to slowly figure out the notes one by one, and when my teacher asked me to play something new from sheet music, I felt an overwhelming sense of shame because I couldn't actually identify each note. I remember trying to cheat by guessing what note to play next and feeling like a terrible person because I should know this by now. I wanted reading sheet music to feel easy, not like a huge drag that involves so much brain power and frustration and even shame. Over the next 10 years, I got faster and faster at reading sheet music. I wasn't specifically focusing on practicing this skill, but it happened over time by doing things like exploring new music for fun in my free time with no pressure and no shame if I didn't get it right. I eventually got to the point where I could read sheet music quickly, and it's been such a relief and allowed me to explore so much more music. But honestly, I wish the process had been easier and hadn't taken me so many years to learn the three steps I'm going to tell you in just a moment. When it came to helping my harp students learn to read sheet music, I saw them having the same frustrations as I had in my early days and trying different coping mechanisms like writing the letter names under each note, and I realized I had to find a better way to help them get results faster than I did. The old way of learning to read sheet music with mnemonics and flashcards or even apps to practice identifying notes, it really holds people back from learning to read fluently. It's specifically teaching you to identify each note one by one, which is so slow. It's like when we're reading English, imagine if we had to spell out each letter and were never encouraged to read words or sentences. The old way of learning sheet music only helps with the letters and not with the words. This can cause so much frustration, but I know that with the right help, everyone is capable of learning to read sheet music because it's actually easier than reading English. It follows the rules, it's logical and predictable. The problem is we've been going about learning this in the wrong way and we don't even know it. It was only when I let go of the old method of trying to read sheet music note by note and started kind of cheating and just guessing more, and then I was finally able to start reading fluently. So I've now broken down the things that gave me success and turned it into a learning method called the Fluent Formula, the secret to reading fast without thinking hard. So here it is. Number one, you need to create a strong page to fingers connection. To read fluently, we need to be able to see a note in the sheet music and immediately be able to play it on the harp without having to stop and figure out the note and what it's called and then only find it on the harp. When I read sheet music and play harp at the same time, I'm not thinking of the name of each note as I play. I just know that that note in the sheet music is linked to the geography of my harp here, so I can instantly play it. This is something I learned gradually, but it is possible to intentionally practice this. Rather than practicing saying each note as you see it in the sheet music, practice immediately finding that note that you see on the harp. This becomes automatic so much more quickly. Number two, we need to learn to read whole words instead of individual letters. Instead of seeing music as a whole lot of disconnected individual notes like letters in the alphabet, we need to identify the words and sentences in music like intervals, shapes, and patterns of notes. We need to see how the notes go up and down on the page and then mimic this on the harp 
kind of like cheating. <laughs> so we don't have to stop and figure out each individual note. It's like being able to read the word dog instantly instead of still having to spell out D-O-G before you can figure out the word each time. Now, before I tell you step number three, let's take a moment to imagine what it will feel like when you're able to read sheet music fluently. You won't be held back by only being able to learn new pieces at the pace that you can memorize. You'll be able to learn much more quickly when you're no longer struggling to figure out each individual note. Imagine having multiple binders of sheet music you've learned and just playing through it for fun. What a sense of accomplishment. Number three, we need to learn each new song with sheet music fluency in mind. Instead of figuring out the notes slowly, memorizing how to play them, and then wondering why we can't read the sheet music at the pace we can play, we need to learn new pieces in a way that helps us to read fluently. When we approach a new piece of music, we analyze it for patterns and practice reading as we learn to play it. We also need to learn how to look ahead in the music so we can play the notes with the correct rhythm and timing without constantly pausing. If you approach a new piece in this way, once you've practiced a piece enough to be able to play it, you'll be able to read it fluently as well. The great thing is you don't need to take years to learn this like I did. If you practice the fluent formula intentionally, you can get to the point of being able to read fluently in less time than you think. If you want help with this, I've created a program based on the Fluent Formula where I help you learn to read sheet music fluently in six weeks. I won't just teach you the basics of reading sheet music, I'll help you to think differently about how you read sheet music so that you're no longer held back by the old way of thinking. If you feel like you've been struggling for too long and you're ready for breakthrough in this area, it's not too late to learn this. Click here for more information and I'll help you to make real progress in reading sheet music fluently.